Hey, Kevin here, Top 1D Financial Advisor, two-time author, one-time bestseller, and we are here to talk about the stock market. We are doing our 21-day Q&A where I am attempting to give you 21 days, 21 straight days of Q&A. I've taken more than 100 questions from you guys about what to look for in an investment, what I tend to look for, how do you start, what accounts to open, Roth versus traditional IRA, all the type of stuff we are going to cover. So today is January 2nd. It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. And I want to go ahead and tackle the question of where do I begin? That is a question that people ask me all the time. It's why I teach a class on it almost every day. Three ways that you can start getting in, uh, three ways that you can start investing today. Um, if you want to sign up, it's buildingbread.com slash free class. But let's go ahead and break it down. How do you begin investing? The very first thing, the very first thing does not have to do with opening an account. Some people think that it does. It does not have to do with picking an investment at all. A lot of people think that it does. The first thing is deciding what do you want? What is your goal? If you don't know that or you don't have a clear picture of what that is going to be, then this whole conversation is, is pointless. And the reason why that is because your goals should determine what account to open, where you open it, and what investments you choose from there. For example, if you were to, if you were a client of mine and you came in and said, I want to invest for my child's college, well, that eliminates everything except for one account, which is a 529 plan. That tells me this is what you want to use it for. Is it they're saving for college? The money's going to grow, using it for college, and nothing else. If you came and told me that you want to save for retirement or you want to invest for retirement and you want to be wealthy and save and invest for the long term, then that tells me that a 529 plan is not for you, right? That, that limits the scope of what you need and what you might want to invest in. So that's the first thing. What is your goal? So what, what I'm going to do first, um, I'm not, I wasn't sure if I was going to use a whiteboard, but I, but I am to kind of illustrate this a bit more. Y'all know my handwriting is, is not all the, always the best, nor is my spelling, but we're going to go through it anyway. So let me share the screen real quick and pull this up. All right, so step one. Step one. What is your goal? So it's always going to be step one. If you don't, the, the goal determines everything else. If you told me you're looking to, to invest in something that's not going to lose you money, so it's going to be a little safe, if that's the goal, that tells me what to invest in. You don't, if you can't tell me that, I can't tell you what to invest in. And I have no idea what you should be doing, what you should not be doing. So step one is always a goal. Step number two. open the account. Now again, and let me take the share this share screen off. I can't tell you what your goals are. <laughs> so uh, that you got to sit down and figure out what those are. And you can have a dozen goals. That's totally fine. But after you've decided what that goal is, that's when you go and open an account. Now people ask me, where do I open an account? That depends on what the goal is. For example, those who, who love Robinhood or even public, I, I love public. I know a lot, a lot of people like Robinhood. They don't have 529 college savings plans. So guess what? That's not, if I my goal is to save for college, that's not the place that I want to go. If my goal is to save um, with a tax advantage, so maybe a Roth IRA, I'm saving for the long term, guess what? Public and Robinhood, as of right now, don't have those. So that's not a place where I would open it. So what? that's why that goal is so important. So if your goal is that I want to build generational wealth, I want to invest for the long term, I want to protect myself from taxes, I just want to grow the money for as long as I can, you're not doing it on Robinhood. Not today, not until they um, offer those types of accounts. That narrows your, your options down to places like Fidelity, which I love, uh, TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, I don't even know if Ally Investing has it. Again, they do update this stuff all the time. So as of this recording, again, it, it really depends. So always start with a goal, 
Then you open an account. What account you open depends on those goals and where you open those accounts depends on those goals. All right, so the second thing is, and let me go back to our screen and it should show up now. Once you have your goal, you know what it is, then you wanna go and open an account. Now we'll give you a, a quick cheat sheet, if you will. So if college is your goal, you want to open a 529 plan. If retirement, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put long-term wealth. long-term dollar sign that's we're going to look for the iras um this also includes like a 401k too now this is a 401k unless you are a business owner you can't open one on your own but stuff at your job tsps i'm just going to put work plans that's that's where you want to be if you want to do short term, short term, then that's just what we just call a regular brokerage account. And I mean, those are those are usually the the big ones. All of these can help create generational wealth, but. If you're looking for college, you probably need a 529 plan. You can get those at the, the more established brokerages. I really don't like that word. It's not a word that flows. But we're looking at Fidelity, Charles Schwab, the ones you, you've known and heard of for quite a while. You're looking for long term, still falls into that same category of where to open those accounts. But you're looking more towards a regular IRA, traditional, or a Roth IRA. You're also definitely looking at your work retirement plans if your job has those then you also have other short term and let me fix the t here uh, if you're looking for short term stuff and trying to make money like here or there then you want to look at a brokerage a brokerage can be found almost anywhere including the robin hoods including public even cash app and other places so again start with the goal then you open an account then you move to step two i'm sorry step two step three Step three is deposit money. And the reason why I say that is because, yeah, that, that is a thing. Once it's open, you have to decide, look, I want to deposit X amount. People ask me, how much did you put in? You Depends on the goal. It will always depend on the goal. Uh, but in general, if you're looking for like the long-term wealth, here, then I suggest putting in as close to 15% as you possibly can. And my goal there is to also include um, any any match if I get one. So if I put in 10, they match me at five, I'm putting in 15%, I'm good. So you want to put in as much as you can, get as close to 15 as you, as, as you, as you can. If you can't, scale up. If you're at 15 or more, or you started late, then you need to get above that and do as much as you can there. Then you want to move on to step four. I don't know why these are in different uh, fonts. There we go. Step four. Buy your investment. Actually, I'll, I'll just put invest slash buy. All right, so that is the last step. And the reason why that's the last step, and I'll take this off real quick, is because there are a lot of people that deposit the money and walk away and think that a Roth IRA, a traditional IRA, a 401k is the investment itself. No, that is the container. That is the container that the money goes in. But in any app, there's usually a buy button that is usually pretty prominent. You have to type in what you want to buy and click the buy button. That's when the money moves. If you don't do that, you're not investing. You're just depositing money and just leaving it there. The interesting thing about a lot of apps now is that they encourage you. You open the account. Hey, deposit your first $100. I'll send you an email to do all, kind of, all that kind of stuff. Once the money is there, they don't tell you like, oh, yeah, you didn't, you didn't click anything. You didn't buy anything. So those are the four steps. One, what is your goal? 
and I'll, I'll pull this back up again. But number one, what is your goal? Number two, open the account. Number three, decide, you know, what it is you need to invest in and let me, uh, or deposit the money rather. And then this is where you invest and you actually make that buying decision. So again, quick review on how you start every conversation when it comes to investing, every client I've ever sat down with, it always starts with this right here. What's the goal? We don't know the goal. We don't know what account. I can't tell you what to invest in if I don't know those things. Everybody's investing goal is going to be different because everybody has different goals for different reasons and they need to check that box at certain times. So number one, always, what is your goal? Number two, open the account. Number three, deposit the money. And then number four, invest and buy. Once you do that, this step and this step are always continuous. Every month I'm, I'm depositing money. Every month I am buying something. Rarely do I sell. We talked about when to sell and all kind of stuff. And we'll actually discuss that later in the series. But that's it. Those are your four steps. That is how you actually begin investing. If you need more help, number one, Comment in the video. Hey, I don't, I don't get it. Hey, I missed something. I'm confused. I have more questions. Let me know. But also make sure you search, search the hashtag 21 day Q and A. This is what we're doing. We're answering questions for the next, well, I guess what, uh, 20 days now, <laughs> but every single day we're trying to answer 21 days in 2021, or answer 21 questions in 2021 and make sure we can help you out. Um, so let me know if you have any more questions. Lastly, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. It's all free. And you also want to make sure that you check out the 2021 Investing Yearbook because it gives you a shortcut in terms of what to invest in. That was one question that you need to, you know, kind of figure out, right? Uh, so you want to make sure you check that out. It's only $49. It will only be available for the first 25 days or so of January. So you want to hop on that as soon as you can. All right, that's it for me. I'll talk to you guys later.